This is the Convene Podcast. My name is Maggie, Digital Media Editor. World at Work's Courtney Mesmer developed a speaker coaching program to improve the participant experience at her organization's annual conference. That initiative not only transformed the conference, but rippled throughout the organization. Inside World at Work's speaker coaching program, written and read by Barbara Palmer, Deputy Editor of Convene. When Courtney Mesmer became Vice President Events at the Human Resources Organization World at Work Total Rewards Association two years ago, her primary assignment was to modernize the organization's annual meeting. At the time, the meeting, now called Total Rewards, which refers to the HR function that handles compensation, benefits, well-being, effectiveness, development, and recognition, had a typical agenda for a traditional association meeting. In other words, three-hour plenary sessions combined with breakout sessions that ranged in length from 60 to 75 minutes. And the content team, Mesner said, was pushing to make the individual sessions even longer. Nearly all the conference presentations came directly from the association's call for proposals, Mesmer said during a presentation she made at Convening Leaders 2024 in January. There were a lot of mantles. Fast forward to World at Work Total Rewards 24 to be held in May at Duke Energy Center in Cincinnati. Participants will choose from sessions ranging from short, concentrated talks designed to teach specific skills to debates, roundtables, and hands-on workshops, the latter, which at 75 minutes, are the longest sessions on the schedule. Mesmer has added new voices to the list of speakers, including young professionals on the rise in the industry. And instead of an agenda where everyone follows the same schedule, including breaks, participants can follow tracks personalized to match their interests, objectives, and where they are in their careers. It's a sweeping transformation and one that relied heavily on the association's investment in something that often doesn't get a lot of attention, speaker coaching. The speaker's role at business events has evolved, Mesmer said in January. People don't want to hear from a sage on the stage anymore. They don't want people droning on and adding a million PowerPoint slides. And in the post-pandemic era, people aren't going to sit still for something that they can hear on Zoom at an in-person event, she said. What participants do want is to encounter industry experts who have successfully wrestled with the same problems that they face, Mesmer said during the convening leaders session, coaching industry speakers to deliver exceptional learning experiences, which she co-presented with Sarah Michelle, the Vice President of Professional Connexity for Velvet Chainsaw Consulting. And although industry experts rank high on the list of the type of speaker that conference participants want to hear from, many people who fit that profile never receive any in-depth training about how to engage audiences, Mesmer told Convene. If you think of the really great speakers that you've experienced, nine times out of ten, they've had some sort of speaker coaching. While the educational programming is 70% of an attendee's experience at a conference, Mesmer's found that it probably gets the least amount of attention from planners. And you really need to reverse that, she said, because if you're banking on people sitting in your seats in education sessions, you can't just leave their experience to chance. As she worked to redesign the conference, Mesmer said she thought often about something the actress Lauren Bacall once said. Standing still is the fastest way of moving backwards in a rapidly changing world. So 
So Mesmer started from there, asking herself who was in the best position to get that message across to conference participants and help guide them forward. For Mesmer, it was industry experts at the forefront of change, the ones who are finding solutions to the same problems that conference participants face. Soon after she arrived at World at Work, Mesmer hired Michelle to help her create a speech or coaching program for the association. Mesmer's strategy was to find the experts within the human resources industry who could best address conference participants' challenges, whether it was through the association's call for speakers or through curation. Then, with Michelle's help, they would use coaching to turn those speakers into skilled presenters who could equip conference participants with the ability to apply new approaches to their own work. Information is at the fingertips of your attendees 24-7, Michelle said during the Convening Leaders presentation. People aren't coming to a conference like Total Rewards to get more content. They're coming to make sense of the content that they are drowning in. What we tell presenters, Mesmer added, is that we want them to be guides, sense makers, and facilitators of learning. Setting a high bar. Among the many changes Mesmer made was revamping the association's call for speakers, which, in a real sense, is where World at Work speech or coaching program begins. Applicants who propose a session are asked to describe the specific problem that they are solving and then to choose from a list of eight different session formats, which include roundtables, workshops, 25-minute TED-style talks, debates, interviews, interactive panels, short sessions focused on building particular skills, and 45-minute presentations. Each session is described in the context of the purpose it's best suited for and sets expectations about how audience participants will interact with presenters and with their peers. For example, the list of formats sets a high bar for how and when that classic 45-minute presentation should be used. It's appropriate only for complex concepts or Epic Tales of Discovery, the guide reads, and should be accompanied by a 15-minute, at minimum, Q&A session. Applicants can suggest the format or formats that they think would best fit their content, but World at Work reserves the final say on the session type, Mesmer said. A lot of times when people submit for the call, they submit a 45-minute presentation because that's what's been at the standard. But, she said, they don't have enough content for a 45-minute presentation. It should be a 20-minute session. World at Work's process isn't so rigid, though, that it filters out those high-powered prospective speakers who don't want to or who are too busy to fill out the form, which runs 12 pages long. Applicants can just send in their ideas for a session, Michelle said, and if it seems like a good fit, World at Work will come back with a plan for how it could look. The coaching is a mix of webinars developed by Michelle and augmented with Zoom office hours, tip sheets, and one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. As the program has grown, the coaching initiative has added new tools, including a speaker resources portal. One of the primary messages that Mesmer gives presenters during the webinars, which draws many as 400 participants, is, you are the bread and butter presenters. You're the main event of our show. We already know that you're a rock star. We just want to make you a better rock star. During webinars with titles like How to Be the Session That Everyone Can't Stop Talking About, Michelle helps presenters to reverse engineer their content, pushing them to define 
what they want participants to be thinking, feeling, and doing as they walk out of the session, and then building presentations around those things. A lot of people don't start with the end in mind, Mesmer said. During and after the webinars, presenters reach out to us with really great ideas to engage participants, she said. They'll ask, can we launch t-shirts out into the room, or could we set the room up this way? Michelle also uses the webinars to educate presenters on the basics of evidence-based learning, including how adult brains work and how interaction helps people retain knowledge, compared with passively receiving information in a one-way stream. There's so much science on what happens when an expert shares content on the stage and then audience participants talk about it with their peers, Michelle said. It gets baked into the brain's frontal lobe and executive functioning where it's retained and where we can go back and share it with others. It's like a giant sticky note for the brain. Delivering data and information, not interacting with it, is usually where we go in concurrent education sessions, Michelle said. But we wanted a learning experience that is facilitated, not presented, where participants are actively involved in thinking and working through challenges together. It is peer-to-peer learning that's really going to deliver on the networking promise of their conference, she said. It's imperative that it be built in. The tips offered to speakers are often a mix of science and pragmatism, such as the suggestion that speakers could calm their nerves by standing at the door and greeting participants. Michelle threw out that tip, she said, not really knowing if it would click with total rewards presenters, many of whom are highly placed executives at companies like Google and Microsoft. But it worked, she said, and helped set an interactive tone for the sessions. Since Mesmer began the speaker coaching program in 2022, there has been a two-fold increase in the number of responses to the association's call for speakers, up from 200 in 2022 to more than 400 for the 2024 meeting, she said. Mesmer also has increased the proportion of speakers who are curated compared to those who apply to speak. In 2024, 40% were curated. The shift has allowed Mesmer to create the conference agenda, not by filling speaker slots through proposals, but by defining the journey that World at Work wants to take participants on and then looking for the people who would fill out that narrative, she said. This year, attending a speaker orientation overview, hosted by Michelle on Zoom and recorded, is written into all speaker contracts. Even if you're a senior speaker, there's new things you can learn, Mesmer said. And we know who's in our audience and what the challenges are. We want to coach speakers to help them create the best presentation possible. The Ripple Effect In 2022, when she started the Speaker Coaching Initiative, Mesmer had felt certain that by improving the education experience, satisfaction with the conference would improve among attendees. And she was right. The approval rating for last year's conference, which followed the first full year of the Speaker Coaching Initiative, was 98%. But the positive results for the association and its members have gone far beyond the immediate conference experience, Mesmer said. She began hearing from presenters who said that the training they'd received through World at Work's speaker training program had helped expand their influence in the organizations that they worked for and had helped to develop their careers. Total reward speakers who weren't already members of the association began joining and referring their friends, Mesmer said. Speakers who've had a good experience come back to the conference and then they bring the members of their teams. 
the more relationships that are built like that, the more likely it is that people will become your advocates and active members of your community. The speaker coaching program also is helping to build a diverse pipeline of speakers who are early in their careers, she said, including young professionals who may have previously presented only to a few colleagues internally, but are developing the skills and confidence to enable them to submit proposals to speak. We're helping them use their voices, she said, and they're going to talk about their great experience and post about it on social media. And from a personal standpoint, Mesmer's own influence has grown. Her team has grown by two people since 2023, including a speaker concierge. The strategy of investing in the ability of subject matter experts to communicate and present their ideas is now seen as a key member benefit at World at Work. And the program, the Speaker Engagement Initiative, is part of the overall strategic plan of the organization, Mesmer said. It's been a lot of work, Mesmer said at Convening Leaders, and it's been challenging at times. But my mantra is, sometimes the only way out is through. Sometimes you have to put in the work to show the results and get what you want. Four Ways to DIY a Speaker Coaching Program Don't let the fact that you don't currently have it in your budget to create a speaker coaching initiative stop you, advises Sarah Michelle, Vice President for Professional Connectivity for Velvet Chainsaw Consulting and a professional speaker. There still are a lot of small steps you can take to invest in improving your meetings education. Besides, she told Convene, if you want your meeting to be sustainable in the future and to grow, you can't afford not to invest in education. Michelle offered four ways to get started. One, leverage your education committee. Make the most of their time and influence by inviting them to take part in planning calls and help speakers understand your audience, Michelle said, and involve them in curation. Ask them who they know in terms of experts who would make great speakers for your event and to open doors for you. Two, create a speaker coaching webinar. If you don't have the money to hire a consultant, Ask yourself who among your members has just knocked it out of the ballpark as a presenter, Michelle suggested. Identify the most popular speaker who gets nothing but high scores in your association and ask that person to present a webinar and share their best tips and practices. Three, generate speaker tip sheets. Go to a generative AI platform, such as ChatGPT, and prompt the platform to generate top 10 tips for speakers and formats, and then distribute them to your presenters. Four, experiment. Pick one or two new session formats and invest in those sessions and in working with the speaker or speakers to make sure the audience has the opportunity to interact with the content, the presenter, and each other. Then track the evaluations and the speaker feedback. If you get super high scores and everybody's raving, go to your boss and say, so, look what happened. Can we expand this next year? If you enjoyed this episode, do give us a five-star review and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more industry insights, visit pcma.org slash convene. Until next time.